We added Danny too, uh, and then you got guys coming off the bench, uh, you know, and Shake and Furt, uh, they've been doing a great job. And, you know, I'm definitely more comfortable, uh, even when it comes to, you know, passing out a double team and making sure one thing I'm trying to improve this year is, uh, you know, not turning the ball over. I uh, had, I think, one today, and it was at the end. Uh, but before I got out, I was very disappointed. Uh, but uh, you know, just yeah, it's definitely making me um, comfortable, and it's also helping my game. Cause now, you know, if you want a double, um, I dare you. Cause we gonna knock down those shots, and if you let me play one on one, I mean, it's your bucket or foul. Thank. You. The next up is Kai Farwell. Hey Joe, uh, just to piggyback off of Paul's question, like even when Seth and Danny aren't like uh, you know hitting shots with regularity, d d does the mere reputation that they have does that make it even does that does that make it easier for you too? Even though Seth and Danny sometimes aren't going to make shots like that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you got to respect them. Um, you know, all they need uh, is an open shot, uh, an open shot to get going. So if you give them one, uh, you can expect them to. You know, keep getting harder and keep shooting them and keep making them. So that also help, helps me. So, you know, I can trust them to, you know, when I pass the ball, now they're going to uh, shoot it and I want them to keep shooting it. Thank you, Joe. Good to keep Pompey. Hey, what's up, Joe? What up, what up? What's up? Hey, Joe, what makes, well, first of all, what's your impressions of Doc Rivers and, and what makes him such a good coach? Uh, you know, he's vocal. Uh, you know, when he speaks, uh, everybody listens, uh, and uh, he's just, I mean, he's just a good coach, uh, even when it comes to X and O's, uh, you know, the plays that he's been drawn, uh, you know, we took a, a little bit of stuff from last year, uh, but the stuff that has been drawn out of timeout, uh, he's been working so far, uh, so we, I mean, he's been, he's been great. Thank you. Our last one's going to come from Austin Crow. Go ahead, Austin. Hey, Joel. So a guy like uh, Mitchell Robinson, who has you know a really big second jump and can really get back up fast in the rebounds, how hard is it to keep him down and sort of you know try to keep him boxed out? Um, he's I man. I I was at a period when he started getting a lot of offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, at the time I had three fouls and. It was at the beginning of the third. Uh, you know, I was trying to make sure, uh, you know, I don't foul, and and then also making sure, you know, I do uh, my job. So there was a few times where, you know, the ball just, you know, bounced his way. Uh, and like you said, he's athletic, so he's going to try to jump over you, and uh, if he grabs it, he's going to go back right up. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's his job, and he does it great. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's good.